Thank you for joining us today. The purpose of this video is to help you navigate the course selection process. We would like to take a few minutes to review this video in preparation for your upcoming meeting with your school counselor. We will be outlining graduation requirements, offering suggestions on how to best align those requirements with your post-secondary plans, and reviewing the process for requesting courses. Students are required to earn 25 credits for graduation in a variety of disciplines. We urge students to academically challenge themselves while maintaining a well-balanced course schedule to allow for success within the classroom as well as through extracurricular involvement. The next three slides will break down the number of credits you must earn in each discipline. Your school counselor will meet with you annually to ensure that you are making appropriate progress toward graduation. The program of studies outlines in detail which courses will satisfy each credit requirement. We encourage you to refer to the program of studies as you submit your course requests and prepare for your meeting with your school counselor. Students are required to take four credits of English, three credits of math, and three credits of science. In addition, students must take three credits of social sciences. Modern World History 1 and 2 must be completed by the end of grade 10. U.S. History 1 and 2 is taken junior year, and seniors are required to take current issues. In addition, students are required to take Health and PE 9 and Health and PE 10 as freshmen and sophomores. As upperclassmen, students can choose from a variety of physical education course offerings. Students must also elect one credit of World Language and one credit of Fine Arts. Finally, students must take an additional three credits in STEM, half credit in personal financial management or financial literacy, one credit in humanities, and three credits in general electives above and beyond the requirements I've mentioned. Please note that the personal financial management half credit is a requirement beginning with the class of 2027. Students graduating before 2027 are not required to complete this credit. Anything above and beyond your credits earned in other disciplines will satisfy your general elective credit. Your mastery experience credit will be earned through successful completion of both the GHS Learning Expectations and English 11. More information about the mastery experience is located in the Program of Studies. As a reminder, your school counselor will help you navigate this process and ensure you are on track to graduate. Now that you understand graduation requirements, you need to log into PowerSchool to complete your course request for next year. Click on Class Registration on the left-hand side. Teachers have put thoughtful consideration into recommending a course where you will find academic success. We strongly encourage you to follow their recommendations. Any questions regarding placement should be directed to your current teacher. Keep in mind that all students must be enrolled in a minimum of six credits with a maximum of eight credits. We encourage you to input alternate options in the event that your current requests conflict with another class. Once we receive all student requests, we will build the master schedule. We cannot emphasize enough that now is the time to review the program of studies and select classes that meet graduation requirements and are in line with your post-secondary plans. We recommend that you have a discussion with your parents in the coming days regarding your course requests and how they align with your interests, goals for high school, and your post-secondary plans. We understand that you may still have questions. We'll be happy to address those at our upcoming meeting. Please be on the lookout for an email from your school counselor with a meeting date and time. Thank you.